Good vach, this guy real jacked, and hope everyone had a wonderful Shabbos. Welcome to Allah Day number 1628. Allah Day keeps the Yitzhar away. And we're continuing with the laws of bathing on Shabbos. If you bathe, be careful not to squeeze your hair. Says the footnotes here, washing itself is permitted, as we mentioned with the cold water, because squeezing water from the hair is only a Durabonin prohibition, since you have no need for the water squeezed from the hair. That's the Mishnah Bura. We already said, and we'll see, that the custom is not to bathe at all in cold water. But he says here, moving along in the footnotes, drying the hair is also permitted. Um, he, Avner Nazir, which is another commentary, rules not to wash hair with your hands, lest you inadvertently pull out some hairs. So you really got to be careful here, folks. Also take care not to swim because it is pro pro prohibited to swim on Shabbos and Yom Tov, as we already mentioned. It is also forbidden to make things float, such as wood chips, on top of the water. If you bathe in a place where it is forbidden to carry, you must also take care before leaving the water to first remove the water from your body and hair and dry yourself well so that no water remains on you, which you would be carrying from one domain into another, which would be a violation. Similarly, in the river itself, you must take care not to carry the water, which is on your, which is on you for Amos, which is about eight feet, because the river is considered a karma. As we already said, it's a rabbinical violation to walk eight feet carrying something within a karma, and certainly in a public domain, which would be a biblical violation to walk eight feet for Amos. Since not everyone knows to be careful, therefore, it has become the prevailing custom in these regions not to bathe at all on Shabbos, even in cold water, except for the purpose of a mitzvah, such as a woman after menstruation, as discussed further in chapter 162, or a man after a nocturnal emission. Now it says, one more footnote here. Um, similarly, care must be taken not to carry the water for almost a Carmelist. We already mentioned that. Um, this prohibition applies only in a river, lake, or ocean, but in a tub or pool it is permitted. That was going back on... The fact that it says that you yeah, not have wood chips floating on water, but so apparently in a pool that's okay, right? That's what he says here, and that's pretty much it. Thanks for listening to Sponsor Future Lacha, thirty six hundred for the gold. Have a good evening.